This next story raising serious questions about government overreach. A conservative reporter saying the feds in a pre-dawn raid took her files while searching her home for guns, including a toy potato gun. And she thinks the government may have an ulterior motive for conducting the search. Joining us now in her first TV interview, Audrey Hudson, Washington correspondent for the Colorado Observer. Great to see you, Audrey. Thanks for having me, Gretchen. All right, so let's go back to 1986, because I know that your husband had some sort of a gun charge back then. Is that what this all stems from? No, that, that, that has nothing to do with this. My, my husband was a federally licensed firearm dealer. However, what this has to do with is he, he purchased a potato launcher. It looks, it looks exactly like this. Um, it's a novelty item. Right. And he purchased it online five years ago. The search warrant they presented at our house at 4.30 in the morning said that they, they, they came to recover this, this potato launcher. However, once they were in the house, the first thing that the Homeland Security officer asked me was, are you the same Audrey Hudson who wrote all of the federal air marshal stories for the Washington Times? Wow. Okay, because you had written some articles about air marshals criticizing what? Correct. I, I broke numerous articles and I had a, a, a wealth of confidential informants. But the main story I broke that aggravated the agency was they, they lied to Congress about how many flights they were actually protecting from terrorists. Mm -hmm. Do you think you were specifically targeted? In other words, do you think that they came up with this potato gun raid that they had to do at your house pre-dawn hours, but what they really wanted was what they ended up walking away with, which was what? What they ended up walking away with were um, my confidential notes. I didn't even know that they had taken these until a month later. They called me on the phone and said, oh, by the way, you can come and pick up your files. I said, what files? And when I asked him why they had the Federal Air Marshal files, he said, we needed to run it by TSA to make sure it was legitimate for you to have, your, have these files. They're my files. They're my handwritten notes. They're my type notes. They're my work product. And by the way, the, the Privacy Protection Act guarantees that government cannot look at a reporter's notes unless there are very specific circumstances. So essentially, they came into my house, they stole my notes, they've exposed my sources. So I want to read the statement that comes from the Coast Guard. Here's what they had to say. The documents were reviewed with the source agency and determined to be obtained properly, as you just said, through the Freedom of Information Act. The CG Coast Guard employee was notified that the documents were cleared and the CG employee picked them up after signing for the documents. Or are they talking about your husband in that case being the CG employee? No, that's who took the documents. The, uh, the Coast Guard is part of Homeland Security. Right. And that's really frustrating because only one file contained a, a document that I obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, which is what they said they wanted to check out. The letter that came with the document clearing it was still attached. But, but so Audrey, all, there was no question. People watching Any other this, documents? Well, sorry. sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but people watching right now are going to be saying, are you telling me that this may have been some sort of intimidation because of stories that you had written that were critical of this administration? It's clearly intimidation. So you believe that you were clearly and specifically targeted and that the, the whole thing about the gun, the potato gun, was a cover? I do. And so what are you doing now? What's your answer? And why did you well, want to come forward? <laughs> Well, the Washington Times, uh, who I wrote the stories for, they are pursuing legal action, um, so they're, they're going to take that track. And I came forward for two purposes. One, I needed to let my sources know they've been, they could have been compromised by the, the notes that were taken. And also, uh, I want to make sure that this doesn't happen to another reporter, because we can't just have the government coming into your house on a, war you know, a, a minor warrant and walk out with whatever files they please of our work product. Very interesting story.